I've set the weedinator up with automatic steering now. So, in theory, it should be able to navigate these uh, waypoints. I've actually marked the waypoints physically with paint on the ground, and hopefully it's going to go along this track, through that little wiggly chicane over there, and into the field, if it works. So I've created a series of um, actually five waypoints, I think. I think, uh, what's this one? That's number one. And then there's another one here, number two. And uh, what happens is the wheel should hit this line here. The machine should stop and then it should download another set of coordinates from the internet and then eventually find its way out into that field. So let's have a look at the machine, see if it's all set up right. I've given it a bit of time for the GPS to connect and uh, looking at this um, green LED here, we've got a static green LED on the U-blocks which indicates we have an RTK fix which is really good. So you should get super accuracy with this. And all the other LEDs are flashing as they should do indicating that all the modules are working and there's that beep beeping as it should do. So it all looks good, I think. So to get it into automatic mode, just um, flip that switch over and hear the steering motors going. And I'm just gonna turn up the throttle here, and get it moving. So it can navigate this track. And there it goes. Got a little uh, computer here set up with a serial monitor. Quite useful, seeing what's going on. Arm for debugging. So uh, that's the rear wheel position, and uh, this is the first way marker here for the front wheels. So here comes the machine. Will it manage to navigate to the first way marker? I can hear the motors on the steering going, they sound a bit like a horn. There it is. Like a kind of a twin tone noise because one uh, wheel drives faster than the other when it's steering. That's the differential um, steering. If the wheels turned at the same speed, they would grind on the surface and um, put a lot of strain on the steering. So the steering itself relies on the power of the wheels to actually uh, assist it. So it's kind of wheel assisted steering. So here's the first way marker. Is it going to hit the line? This is the question, will it navigate to this line? There's another one here. Is it going to stop on that line? It's going to, it should stop any minute, please. Come on, stop. Ah, oh, yes. Thank you, Weedinator. Look at the accuracy of that. Well, the wheels are off at a bit of an angle, so it's not perfect, but yeah, normally I get um, to within about plus or minus um, 50 millimeter. In theory, it should go down to plus or minus 25 millimeter. Okay, so it's come forward now. It's downloaded a fresh set of coordinates for the next uh, way marker, which is there. So it's that um, yellow box with the arrow on it. So the machine is coming up the drive onto this um, way marker here. It has navigated a little bit of a bend already. So it's, um, it's definitely working. It's not like I've just made it go in a straight line. And um, if I go further up the track, you can see it's actually got to navigate a bend up here as well. So, so it's got a bit of navigation to there. It's nothing too strenuous at this stage. Don't really want to ask too much of it. So there she goes. Coming on to this way marker, how accurate will it be? The um, GPS gives it a heading and then the onboard digital compass actually creates a, um, a, uh, a course by subtracting the heading from the compass and you get a, a number which gives you the uh, required position of the, of the wheels and as it gets closer to the the target, uh, the wheels uh, move a little bit uh, further and uh, get higher and higher accuracy. 
Here it comes. Is it going to stop on those lines like it did before? It's looking a little bit better actually. It's done a little, done a little bit of a, a twist. So it's not gone in a perfect straight line to get to this way marker. It's not too bad. Oh, there we are, we've stopped. It's pretty good. I'd say that was within 100 millimetres anyway. Hear a kind of a, a chuckling noises in the motors, and I think that's down to a little bit of um, leakage between the two or two of the cores on the uh, TC275 processor. It's a three core processor, and uh, the cores communicate with each other via serial. So there's a bit of leakage there, I think, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry too much about that. So it's coming up to the next way marker now. This is so exciting. It's going to go up that drive now. It's doing well. And uh, to save you having to watch the whole thing going at about 0.2 kilometres an hour, I, uh, I'm going to speed it up. So here we go.